This story might not be a big thing for most of you, but it is for me. About four months ago, I adopted a cat from a shelter. He had a condition but it wasn't something that needed ongoing treatment or medications, just diet adjustments. Purchased an insurance for him from day one. From day two, he got sick and it cost me $2,000 in vet bills at that point. Come to submit the expenses to my insurance. They tell me there was already a policy that was activated by my shelter which had 48 hours of waiting period. But a mere $500 coverage. And my own policy will have a 14-day waiting period but a bigger coverage. They made me choose and I naturally chose the latter one. Supposing my cat won't need more vet visits before the end of 14 days. Lo and behold, he did. I had to spend a total of $10,000 out of pocket on him. Not something I was prepared for and the insurance guys being ILS. They rejected all my claims saying the issues occurred during the waiting period and they would keep connecting one condition to the other. Tired of the back and forth I stopped the insurance and appealed my latest claim. In comes Mr. Goddard. My inner chatter told me it won't happen, but I had to shut it up. I did sats barely twice where I imagined reading an email from my insurance, congratulating me on the success of my appeal, and then I let it go. Every time insurance came to my mind, I took deep meditative breaths, observed the thought, told myself here it is again, trying to spoil my mood, and then let it go. The day before yesterday I got an email from the insurance, saying they were reinstating the policy from my shelter which means a wait period of only 48 hours. In effect, all conditions that happened after those two days are now covered subject to the policy limits. Never would I have ever imagined the insurance guys would be nice enough as to help me with something effective retroactively. That's a huge win in my eyes. While my claims are still in process, and they might not pay me back for the entire $10,000 but I know what my sats want. There's other small changes that I call successes in my life too. I have started working out again after a two-year gap. My mind is legit throwing me creative ideas all the time. I have started rising up with the sun, all because of sats. The gist really is to sats it and then let it be. In my personal experience, obsessing and waiting for the thing really hampers our progress. And I know this firsthand because I have had trouble manifesting my SP. Although my negative chatter has gone down by say 90%, I still find myself lost dwelling on negative thoughts sometimes. But I know I will overcome it. Maybe I'll sats myself to overcome all negative chatter. So, subscribe if you like this video. Happy manifesting.